Hey everyone, thanks for joining today. I'm going to try something a little different with cold processed soap today. I'm going to be using some breast milk that I have left over. My daughter is getting to the point where we're starting to switch her to solid foods, so I have a little bit extra, but I want to experiment with this recipe. So you're going to start off measuring your breast milk and you are going to want to measure it by weight and not by what it actually says on the bottles because the net weight is different than um, fluid ounces so we need to measure it with a scale. We'll start off with 7 ounces of breast milk and another thing we're going to do since we're going to be making this soap and mixing it with lye, we are going to pop it in the freezer overnight um, just to make sure that we keep the temperature of the milk cold when we add the lye. And if this is the first time that you've made cold process soap, I would make sure you do your research and um, use all protective gear that's necessary. Um, if you know, have done anything or any research with breast milk, that's kind of why I wanted to do this. Um, you'll know that breast milk has kind of got a lot of healing properties to it, or at least it's said to. It kind of is one of those, you know, miracle things where it helps babies with, you know, um, cradle cap and if they have um, baby acne and stuff like that. So I'm just going to do a little experiment and hopefully I'm going to try this on myself and hopefully it will work for some of those things as well. Um, so I'm measuring off the lye, and for lye for this recipe we're going to use 3.12 ounces, and again we're just measuring everything out and make sure that you're protected, and when you do mix the lye you just want to mix a few tablespoons at a time just so it keeps the temperature of the milk cubes um, cool. If your milk starts turning, you know, dark brown or curdling, you're getting it too hot. So then we move on and we're going to measure all the oils for the soap. Um, it's a really basic recipe. For the first one we'll do olive oil at 7.5 ounces. Um, and After the olive oil we will add some sunflower oil. And the sunflower oil we'll do 4 ounces even. Next will be the safflower oil, we'll do 3 ounces even of that, and I am just mixing everything into a large um, container, and um, I'm going to add coconut milk, or not milk, coconut oil, and you do want to melt that down. You can either um, melt it in the microwave and do like 30 second, you know, blast of heat to melt it down, or you can cook it on the stove on a low temperature is what I usually do. You're also going to want to add the vitamin E oil. For vitamin E oil, I just did about 10 drops. Um, you don't need a lot. I just was hoping to make this, you know, a little bit more nourishing. Once all the lye is incorporated into the milk, you can slowly add it to the oils. Go ahead and leave a comment below of an alternative use for breast milk that you can think of down in the comments. Let's see what you guys come up with. I also wanted to add some oatmeal to the mix and this is really fine blended oatmeal. Um, it's just going to have a little bit of an exfoliation property plus it's also very soothing for your skin. It's known to be well, a lot of people put it in soaps that they have like eczema or something like that so I thought it would be good for a baby soap as well And then for the fragrance, you don't have to put anything in. I chose to put lavender in, and I am going to put the whole bottle in. You want to make sure you are lightly fragrancing this. So I wouldn't go any more than one full ounce for this recipe. You can add other um, 
essential oils if you want just make sure that they are you know safe for baby because some of them you don't want to do at a young age usually lavender is a pretty safe one um, especially if we're not doing it in a high concentration and this is going to be good if you do your bath times at night lavender is you know something that's calming for the baby and hopefully will help them you know relax and get ready for bed once everything is mixed up, you can go ahead and pour it into your soap mold. I decided to use the silicone mold, and for this recipe, um, I had a lot extra, so I just poured it into other molds that I had, but you probably could use, you know, a full two, um, you know, two things of these little cupcake type molds. And also, since I put it in the silicone mold, I did... Um, before I even tried to pull it out of the mold, I let it sit for probably about 48 hours to 36 hours because it's still really soft. And you'll see that at the end here when I pull it out, it kind of it's it looks a little bit soft. Um, but I'm hoping that this will harden up to a nice bar of soap once it's fully cured. Um, you can also spray the top with rubbing alcohol if you want, just so you don't get any soda ash. And I added lavender um, buds to the top of my soap as well. So it's just coming out. As you can see, there it is sticking just a tiny bit, um, but it's not too bad. And it's, it's still very soft. We're going to wait about six to eight weeks before we try it and use it. So... Thank you all for joining and watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. What else do you guys use your breast milk for besides feeding baby? What alternative uses do you know for breast milk?